look at the nature of the practice, there's a few things that are happening, right? Uh, one, that you are seeing these people that yesterday people were saying all, all the families are showing up, right? They think finally, you know, you have an invitation, we're coming here, right? <laughs> so the story is there, the, the story is there, you, something that you never pay attention, you never remember, and you never see them, but you begin to see them. That's already overcoming ignorance, right? Second, you don't not only see them, but you're seeing them through different eyes. Usually, if it's not a situation in a practice, usually it's the middle of, I don't know, your work day, Monday morning, and that family image comes out, you say, my God, you know. You would have a very different response to those people. But during the practice, your response is different. You feel, oh, as if you are, you're more open. So you're, you're seeing them, that change. You're seeing them differently, that change. You're able to feel empathy and compassion, that's different. You may be, you begin to feel during the practices, it uh, depends how well practice is happening for you, you begin to see some shift and changes in those people during your practice, power of, by the power of your practice. You begin to, sh those shift. You, the end of those purification, you see a different person. That's the big transformation, right? So you had the self-transformation, Yes, a power of that self-transformation, you're seeing transformation of somebody, important person in your life. So that means that person is now, it's a different for you. It's not, that person has changed for you. You have changed for that person. Your relationship has been changed. The way that person tr traces memory, karmic traces or, or memory is no longer affecting you in the same way it has been affecting you for a very long time. Those are the benefits, right? Maybe sometime, you know, it depends. Sometimes it could be so big change that it clearly it's gone. It's changed total relationship. Sometimes you feel maybe I still need to work 50% more. You know, during practice was fine. Monday morning was not fine, right? <laughs> it came back. So, so some sense you have to kind of work until that some some true change took place or will take place. So then, ah, uh, ah, uh, you, you yes, again, the, the, you know, the, with the transmitting that light. So that's like when people say initiation, empowerment, blessing. That's what it is. That's initiation. So you are initiating. You are blessing. You're empowering knowledge. You're giving, uh, it's like a giving a new, uh, new energy in the body of this person. You're giving a new voice to this person. You're giving a new heart, new mind to this person. Because, uh, because you feel that you have a new body. You feel that you have a new voice at that moment. You feel that you have a new mind. So you're giving your new body, new mind, new spirit new speech to that person. Because usually, we have in many relationships that we have some sense we need to, to take care of others, we need to, to give something to others. But we also kind of know that we need to, to be kind, we need to be loving, we need to, to be... But in the, in, the, in the name of love, we give anger, we give disappointment, we, we give sadness. Think about, you know, a parent. No parent or no mother will like make wanted. No mother would want it to her child to suffer. But sometimes she makes the child suffer. She transmit those sadness, pain. Because even in the name of love. In the name of love, she transmits suffering. Because that's all what she has. She cannot give what she does not have. But she knows what she's supposed to give, and then she's giving what she has. 
can turn out to be a kind of stories and suffering, pains. That happens all the time, right? In, in, in many relationships, not only in the parents and children's, but in many relationships, uh, we, we transmit that. 